today from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. This is the National Football League. Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. the team of the 80s versus the team of the 90s the Niners the Cowboys they're underway taken in at the three and they will ring them down a couple yards shy of the 30 time for Dak Prescott of the Dallas offense to go to work Prescott of course the former fourth round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State and how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. Scott looks to throw right away. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Javon Kinlaw forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. So an early wake-up call there leads to a quick second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, the quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Here's Prescott. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by Mr. Irrelevant in the 2022 draft. A guy with something to prove. Iowa State's career passing leader. And that's Brock Purdy. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. 
They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. But the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Inside give to Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off the play fake, Prescott. Now he's forced out right. And this is caught inside the five. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. From the two, here's first and goal. Looking to throw, Prescott. Dancing to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Nick Bosa able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of 15 yards all told. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. To throw is Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And they're gonna get this down inside the 15. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. They do get eight out of the pitch and catch. However, it's fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. The kick by Maher is good, and the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. After the made field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. 
Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They fumbled the last time they had the football, fortunate that it only led to a field goal. 3-0 the score as they start first and 10. start on the ground with McCaffrey and he'll take this ahead for about four second down coming up the defense thought they had that play covered but it still got driven backward by those blockers those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan it all starts up front in the trenches the run got four now they deal with a second and six Purdy and that'll be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Purdy looking to throw. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Start on the ground with Elliott. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Meanwhile, Dax throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now third down and six to go. Oh, it's time to give more credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10.
The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now Purdy. Open man is Juwan Jennings. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On second down and four, Purdy. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Purdy. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jennings. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. On first down, it's Purdy. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 22-yard line. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. First down, Purdy. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Second and four. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Try to run with McCaffrey. 
And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from seven yards away. And the 49ers have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Gold with the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, Prescott stripped, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. They're already trailing here in this first quarter. Last thing they needed was to cough the football. Well, they coughed it up, but luckily for them, it went out of bounds. Yeah, still a long way to go, but when you're losing, every possession takes on a little bit more importance, doesn't it? And in that case, they almost made this game a lot more difficult for themselves by turning it over. Fortunate there. Second and short now following the fumble. Now Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And Prescott to Schultz there for the Cowboy first. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and put the down marker back to one. On first and ten, Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. They'll start by running the option to the right. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Let's go 
on first down. This is McCaffrey. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, a five-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. This feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, partner, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone where things are so condensed. But a lot of times you end up focusing on the running backs and they're able to slip it to the receiver, and it resulted in a touchdown. Gold to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe you give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Up the middle, here's Hallian. And he'll get about two there to the 36. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. With five yards on the play there. It's a drive that continue. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. down carry by Elliott and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down well that's just a pile of bodies there and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy right who can stand up and make a play it was only a three-yard run but for both sides they had to walk away from that field I'm like okay 
I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, Elliott. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Throwing Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And that's exactly what defense is talking about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. After one, a 14-3 ball game. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss, couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little, a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. There's Purdy on first and 10. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Five. 
From the 40 now on second down. Purdy over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go play action here, Purdy. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Cowboys have recovered. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Prescott. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get five out of the scramble in second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. To throw again on second down, Prescott. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Prescott from the gun. That one complete to Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Prescott to throw it. Over the middle complete. It's Schultz. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Hey, check 
handoff left. Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. Then he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Prescott from the gun on third. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz, and this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. The kick by Maher is good, and a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. The trailing here in the first half still, but maybe, Charles, that'll help them get some momentum back. First, the force fumble, and then they're able to get a field goal out of it. And down in the game, they came out and created their own opportunity on one side of the ball and did get points out of it, as you mentioned. Complimentary football right there as they try and bring this one back to even. After the made field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Mike four two, Mike four two. He's going to try and take off with it. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits... I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Under 10, under 10. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. 
Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And the Niners get there and bring him down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure, and these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Another try after the first down sack. Kleskot, and this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. The offense on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This will be third and 15. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's Brian Anger now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their 38. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three.
And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Throwing here, Purdy. Got his target, Samuel. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Purdy to throw it on first down. Flushed out right. That's caught out right by Jennings. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Here's second and five now from the 37. A give running left, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Back to throw, Purdy. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Purdy, and he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Open man is IU complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Purdy now to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second and goal. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. That is caught by the tight end, Kettle. Touchdown, 49ers. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there.
After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And able to get this out to the 25. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Scott. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10 again from the 25 yard line. Prescott now. Buying time to his left. He'll get this to Elliott. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A give to Elliott running left. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. McLeod to return it. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return. The Niners ready to go on offense for the final time of this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Purdy. Oh, leaping and he makes the grab. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Shotgun now with Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting 49ers on top. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. Then everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Looking to throw, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. Had a first down on that last catch as well. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. Completes it to Samuel. And some room to roam now. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First down, Purdy. That's caught by Ayuk on the slant. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now he's got it. And he's brought down. 
A solid pickup at 13 sets him up first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. This is why I've never been a big fan of trying to get too cute down here by the goal line. For every one time something like this works, it seems like it blows up about ten times. And sure enough, they'll wind up losing yards here. From back at the four, here's second and goal. McCaffrey is going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards? Purdy. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Ray Ray McLeod, a five-yard touchdown. And the 49ers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, and he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Down several scores and playing behind the chains is not the way to have success in this one. Right now, if you're the offensive line, your big concern, protecting your quarterback, even a chance to try and throw something downfield to pick up the needed yardage. 
These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Being chased out left. And that's knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Here's Brian Anger now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Good footwork at the 30. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your quarter? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? Well, that's what he's done here in this one so far. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Pretty slow complete here to Ayuk. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he's getting, and now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. Brandon Ayuk from eight yards out as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Gold with the extra point, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, 
This one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. A gain of three, second down. Now that ground game just continues to struggle to really get any momentum in this ball game, Charles. And I mean, you're at the point here, third quarter, down four scores, probably going to have to put it in the air. Oh, no question about it. So that's your only chance, your only opportunity. But think of the pressure you just put on your offensive line because if you're a pass rusher, you're not even thinking about them running the football. All you're doing is getting into that sprinter stance and going after the quarterback. A Cowboy first down there, Prescott to Gallup. They'll drop to throw. He finds his target. It's Schultz. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and two. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 46 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They go to Elliott again. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Draw play, Elliott. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 32. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. tight end on fourth and he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30 yard line they only got a couple but a couple is all that they needed as they convert on fourth i like that call i'm assuming you're with me i am i'm totally with you and to me they saw something that they liked there because let's face it, it's going to be a mass of bodies but it feels like the head coach has said my best runner over my best blocker. Give it to me right now. And you only needed one yard where they were on the other side of the field. It seems if, like a no-brainer. If we can't get one yard, what are we doing out here? If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And the Cowboys are gonna be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six yard line. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Here's Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Noah Brown from six yards away. And the Cowboys are able to cut into that deficit. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. touchdown originally and this will stay a touchdown after the video review so they had it right Brett Maher on for the extra point and he bangs it home it makes it now 35 and 13 our score that one in the books as a 12 play drive and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown Touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. down it's Purdy he'll get this into the hands of Ayuk and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped it'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches that'll be a first down this is just more of the same this defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws they've let these receivers run wild and here's another completion for good yardage from the 32 now here's first and 10 Up the gut, McCaffrey. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. But an alert 49er able to gain possession. So they will indeed hold on to the pigskin. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. 
almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now Purdy. His throw incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Purdy looking to throw. Tries to hit Jennings, and it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And, partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described, a defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. Following the interception, here's Prescott. That's caught. And he is going to get in there for the two points to make this a 12-point game. And they turn the pick six into a pick eight with that two-point conversion. I love how you upset. That is outstanding right there. What a big-time play. Big switch in how this game was going. And then they capitalized a little bit on top. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Fresh off that pick six, here's Purdy. That's caught by Jennings. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Here's Purdy. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Purdy from the gun on third down. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. 
So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arms. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Off the play fake. Prescott. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Well, partner, this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because, remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match their opposition's pick six from earlier in this game. Now gold for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Now the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. 
Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This is third and 11. Now Prescott. Under pressure and down he goes. Nick Bosa. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down. Trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done as you noted. And they did. down throw for Prescott and he can't find anywhere to go with it and he goes down Dre Greenlaw getting home on that one you can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about not just a sack but a big win built off the efforts of this defense They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Looking to throw. Prescott. That's Gallup on the slant. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 45-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. They'll throw again. Prescott, he finds his man complete. That's Schultz. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Coming up on second and seven. Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Stop. 
And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. And again, it's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Left side to Lamb. And the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches just say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Forced out to his left. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Mar on for the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but... Maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. On first down, Purdy. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And throwing here, Purdy. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Ten. 
From the shotgun to McCaffrey. He'll get this to about the 38. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? The Niners on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and four. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Steps away to his left. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Back to throw, Purdy. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 29-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think you continue to do so. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, C.D. Lamb at wide receiver as he brings out this offense. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. This one was all about clearing space for this play to work because he's going to leak out of the backfield to his right and then angle his way up the field. And a really pretty throw to put it on him and create the big play downfield.
So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to CeeDee Lamb. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Prescott. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Give me that ball, to the air again, Prescott. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Here's Dak. Over the middle complete. It's Schultz. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 18. His big game continues. 10 catches now and another first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. That's complete. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had to have having to, to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done. And now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, man. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't... And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. 
Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Mar now to add the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was the tight end Dalton Schultz on the touchdown reception to cap the drive. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And it's the 49ers who recover it, and that ought to just about do it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They run with McCaffrey off the option. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. to play in the ball game. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. see a group score this many points it's a complete blowout but instead they needed every single one of those in this close high scoring affair and hey Brandon I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end that's not something we see very often and in this case these offenses they brought it the defenses they're gonna need some work going forward So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Big D.